Hi, my name is Jim Kim and I'm a real estate agent. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to door knock as a new real estate agent to get more clients. And in the real estate business, uh, especially starting out, you need to build your book of business. You need to find your own clients and these are people who are looking to uh, buy a house, sell a house, or do both. Uh, these are people that you need to get into your pipeline to uh, in the future to help them do that real estate transaction that will earn you a commission so that you can continue to work in real estate. So uh, these are just some tips that I came up with. I did some door knocking today. Uh, this is what I wear. Uh, I have this jacket which has my company logo as well as my name tag here. Uh, you've probably seen my name tag video that I did uh, previously. If not, check that out on my channel as well. Um, but uh, yeah, this is what I wear. The, the jacket, uh, a shirt, um, looking professional, looking like I know what I'm talking about, looking like I have a reason to uh, be knocking on someone's door to talk to somebody. Um, people do judge you on your looks, so uh, you definitely want that first impression to be of someone who is professional and who can offer value. Uh, you definitely want to wear comfortable shoes. Uh, you do not have to wear dress shoes, however, um, you know, wear maybe a, a nice pair of uh, sneakers, I'd suggest possibly dark sneakers if you're wearing a suit uh, or something formal or you're looking professional. Uh, darker sneakers or uh, maybe hiking boots depending on, on what you're walking through, but uh, definitely wear some comfortable shoes, you know, the high heels or the, uh, the dress shoes. Leave those at home because you'll be on your feet. Um, for, for several hours um, and you, you want you want to be comfortable. Uh, next you want to uh, pick your neighborhood that you'll be doing your door knocking in. Um, you, it probably makes sense to pick a neighborhood where uh, there's been a number of sales. Uh, it seems to be a, a you know pretty hot up, up and coming market or uh, a neighborhood where home prices are consistently uh, at, a, at a good price and there's, there's uh, quite a bit of action. These are neighborhoods where, yes, it's going to be competitive, but um, doesn't it make sense to work the, the top five hot markets in the area that you're probably familiar with than a market that doesn't have a lot of house sales and there's not a lot of turnover and uh, there's just not a lot of good value or just nobody's buying the neighborhood. I don't know. What, which neighborhood do you want to pick? Uh, it's, it, I hope that makes sense. Um, so when you pick this hot neighborhood that you'll be door knocking in, uh, you want to make sure to park at the end of the street and then knock on the doors towards uh, down one end of the street, turn around and then go down the other side and then you'll be back to where you parked your car. Um, come up with your own way but uh, that, that's probably the, the most efficient way if you choose to drive to a neighborhood, park it in the street, work your way up one end, and go around and then you'll end up at your car. Um, uh, another thing you want to do when you're door knocking is to offer something of value. Um, what I do, if I can show you here, I use this postcard here and what I'm offering is I can find an accurate price for the home and my contact information is on the back and if the person is, is there then I hand this to them. If not, it's easy just for me to fold and, and, and place it to the door. Uh, you cannot put things into the mailbox, um, at least that's what I was told, I check on your local laws, but uh, I do not place those in the mailbox if they're not home, I just simply stick it in the door and, and I'm on my way. Um, but definitely look into what you have to offer value, mine is the, uh, I can find an accurate price for the home in case they're, they were curious, most people are curious about how much their, their home costs uh, in this market, um, you might have some, some, some other sort of offer. Uh, that will portray your expertise and your value as a real estate agent. Um, next, you definitely want to use a script. You want to know what you're saying. You need to be able to say it in three seconds or less, some sort of uh, value, some sort of interesting fact, or, or the, some sort of reason why you're, you're there on their porch uh, when they answer the door. Um, you want to have a script. Uh, my script that I use is, Hi, my name is Jim Kim. I'm a real estate agent and I just want to give you some information as, I hand, as I'm reaching out with that postcard. Um, if you're interested in seeing how much your home costs, I can come up with an accurate price. Um, and here's my information and my, my contact info is on the back. 
Thank you. That's it. Keep it short. Keep it simple. Um, you know, they don't want to talk to you. You're you're interrupting their day. Um, you know, they weren't they weren't really expecting. Yeah, whoever knocks on my door, I will I will uh, I will answer, and that'll be a great time. They weren't thinking that. Um, so you want to be in and out and quick, uh, and you're on your way. Uh, and then lastly, this is very important. Probably the most important thing you want to do when you door knock. You ring the doorbell, step back a good 10 feet or so, just step back as far as you can. Be careful because normally there's porches that are elevated, so watch your step. But step back after you ring that doorbell a good, a good amount so that you're not in the person's face when they open the door. That's weird. So do not do that to that person and start the conversation off weirdly. Step back so that they, you're at a distance where they can still hear you. Um, but you're totally non-threatening and stand up straight. Uh, I have my, my postcard in hand so they know it's basically some guy just giving them something, um, something useful. And, uh, and that's, that's how you kind of ease, the, ease into that type of conversation. So those are the tips on how to door knock as a real estate agent. I hope you found these useful in helping you to find more clients, especially as you start out in the real estate business. If you have any more questions or you want to learn more about real estate, please visit my website at www.jimkim.realtor. Thanks.